hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing good today so today i'm going to show you how i made this fully lined bandless skirt with a slit at the back in this video i'm going to achieve two things one i'm going to show you how to draft on your fabric for those who don't like patterns and then i'm going to show you how to sew it so the bonus you're going to have for this tutorial is that it's going to be bandless fully lined with a slit if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like share comment let's get to it i have about 2.5 meters of fabric here and this is the lining that i'll be using it is a cotton lining i have folded my fabric into two i'm going to cut the front pattern first and then the back pattern later to know the amount of fabric that you fold divide your hips by four then add one inch my hips is 41.5 41.5 divided by four that is 10.3 10.3 plus one that is 11.3 so i'm going to fold my fabric such that i'll get nothing less than 11.3 i have 12 here so it is fine this is the wrong side of the fabric Next thing I'm going to do is to draw my baseline. All vertical measurements will start from here. The length of my skirt is 29. Then I'll be adding two inches extra for um, hemming allowance, okay? That's 31. So after doing that, measure your waist to hips. My waist to hip measurement is 7.5, 7.5, 7.5. And then i'm going to draw it into a straight line now take the horizontal measurement my waist measurement is 31.5 31.5 divided by 4 that is 7.9 plus one inch for that that is 8.9 8.9 and then i'll mark one inch for sewing allowance on the hip line the hip measurement is 41.5 for a fitted skirt the front hip measurement is usually lesser than the back hip measurement because of the butt so we are going to allocate more to the back hips than to the front hips the formula is this hips divided by two whatever you get minus one that is going to be what you allocate for your front hips so my hips measurement is 41.5 41.5 divided by two that gives me 20.75 so 20.75 minus 1 that gives me 19.75 so 19.75 is my front hips measurement so now you know i have folded this into two so i'm going to divide 19.75 by 2 which gives me 9.9 .9. here i marked 9.9 .9, which is my front hips measurement plus one inch for sewing allowance so now to the m of the skirt it is going to be a pencil skirt my front hips measurement is 9.9 .9. so 9.9 .9 minus 1.5 that gives me 8.4 mark 8.4 here and then my one inch sewing allowance connect i'm going to use my curve to if you have the hip curve you can use it for this part i don't have one and my straight ruler has never failed me in getting the perfect curve i think i'm cool with it now let's put the dart my bust span is seven inches seven inches divided by two i have 3.5 so from here i'm going to measure 3.5 on the hip line as well i'm going to measure 3.5 for the front that measure three inches above your hip line make a mark for the dart legs you know we left them um, one inch for the dart so i'm going to take 0 0.5 inch on both sides 0 0.5 inch, 0 0.5 inch and then i'm going to connect the last thing is to depress the waist if you're on the small side you can do 0.5 on the average size one inch on the big side you can do 1.5 and like you know it will not affect the length of your skirt instead it is going to give your tummy some room so that your tummy will not push down your skirt 
and then you have some wrinkles at the center front i'm not going to do 0.5 because i think i have a bigger tummy now than when i made the previous skirt so i'm going to do 0.75 inch and then i'm going to connect it to my waist measurement not the same allowance this is all for the front pattern of the skirt now cut it so you know i've added my same allowances already so i do not need to add anything again For the back to know how to fold your fabric what you need is your hips measurement divided by four plus two inches i'm going to fold it this way my hips measurement is um 41.5 for 21.5 divided by four that is 10.3 10.3 plus two that is 12.3 but before that 12.3 i'm going to mark two inches for my zipper allowance you mark two inches first before the 12.3 invariably what i need is two inches plus 12.3 that is 14.3 on four this is 15.5 is perfect first of all draw a baseline which is going to be our starting point and then i'm going to mark my length i want 29 inches plus an additional two for the hemming allowance so that is 31 so after doing that measure the two inches allowance for the zipper get the hip line waist to hips mine is 7.5 now let us start with the horizontal measurement my waist is 31.5 31.5 divided by 4 that is 7.8 plus extra one inch for that that is 8.8 i'm going to use 8.9 like i used for the front 8.9 and then i'm going to add my one inch for seam allowance i started marking from this line this zipper line not from the edge for the hip just like we did for the front my hip measurement is 41.5 41.5 divided by 2 i'm going to have 20.75 20.75 plus 1 you know that one we took from the front that is 21.75 now 21.75 is what i'm going to allocate for the back hips so 21.75 divided by 2 you know the fabric is unfold let's say 10.9 if the difference between your hips and your waist if it is less than 10 or equal to 10 measure 0.5 inch from this part into the zipper allowance my hips is 41.5 my waist is 31.5 that is 10 and it is from here that i'm going to start my 10.9 inches and then my one inch for sewing but if the difference between your hips and your waist is more than 10 instead of marking 0.5 inch into the zipper allowance like i did you're going to mark one inch into the zipper allowance make a mark and then you mark whatever it is you have allocated for the back hips from that line now to the m of the skirt you know for the front we deducted 1.5 for the back i'm going to deduct one inch so 10.9 minus one that is 9.9 .9. i'm going to start measuring it from here then one inch for same allowance so now let us join all this together now i'm going to join this part to this part and then from here measure about five inches from your hip line five to six inches and then you join whatever you have here to the mark and the rest you just go that way 
so do you know what we have done here this is the zipper area it is not straight what we did here was to make more room for the butt area without altering our hips measurement we are not adding more to the hip measurement we are not taking from it what we are doing is just to allocate more for the butt area okay so that it's not flat at the back after this mark your zipper allowance and that is the reason i said you should add two inches here so even if you took one inch here you still have an extra one inch that you can use for your zipper allowance i'm going to start marking it from this my new line this my new curve one inch zipper allowance you see how i'm placing it on the curved line ensure there are no sharp edges so you can use your free hand to curve it or you use your hip curve if you have one for the dart from this point here not the zip allowance line mark 3.5 draw it into a straight line for the back dart to know where to stop you go up by two inches from the hip line and then you're going to mark 0 0.5 inch on both sides the last thing we are going to do on this skirt before we cut is to take some inches away from the center back. From this first line, not the zipper allowance line, go in by 0 0.5. If you're on the big side, you can do 0 0.75 inches and then blend it into this point, this curved line. Because of that, you know, if I should cut it this way, that means my zipper allowance will be 1.5. So what I'm going to do again, from this, this 0 0.5 inch mark that I linked to here, I'm going to measure, remeasure my 1 inch for the zipper, alright? So 1 inch and then I'm going to link it as well to here. Okay, this would have been better on the pattern, but this is just for those who want to draft directly on their fabric. We are done with the back pattern now cut it cut this out if you do not get this please check my pattern i'm going to leave the link up there always notch so that by the time you're joining everything aligns So that you do not mix it up the side from the zipper allowance if this is no longer straight so you cannot easily differentiate the zipper allowance from the side you can put an arrow here just to let you know that this is the zipper allowance on the other side as well you can just put an arrow just to let you know that this is the zipper allowance and not the side so that you don't place the zipper allowance against the sides of the front pattern now let us cut the lining i'm folding it right side facing right side we are going to cut basically the same thing the only difference is going to be on the length i'm going to cut my front pattern first so just place it on it put the fold against the fold you remember i used two inch as the hemming allowance right that two inches just mark it one two Fold it up, make a mark, draw a line rather, mark 1.5 inches upward. Now I can cut from this top line. Every other thing remains the same. So for the back, I'm going to fold the lining as well. Put your back pattern on it like this, just like we did for the front. This is your 2 inch M, get it? Draw a straight line. From that line, mark 1.5 inches upward. Now you can cut, every other thing remains the same.
this is the zipper area this is the wrong side of the fabric so here we go guys we have our patterns ready this is the back pattern and this is the front pattern in the next class i'm going to show you how to sew it fully lined a bandless skirt and we're going to be adding the zipper all right i hope this tutorial has been helpful if it has please let me know take care of yourself and enjoy the rest of your day see you in the next class bye